Hello, good afternoon. It's me, Brian, Just Magic in the new luscious green backdrop of the Just Magic household. Hope you're all okay mid-May. I'm going to show you a bit of magic. It's a piece of antiquity, old piece of magic, a bit like me. <laughs> Based loosely on sawing a person in half, where you'd put a person in a box and move their tummy across. Hence, sawing them into three pieces. It's called a zigzag illusion. Okay, because shaped like a letter Z, zig zag. You can show it front, back, sideways. Obviously not big enough to put a person in, but hopefully it is big enough to put a pack of cards in. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put the cards in the box. I can show the box from the back. You can see the little holes from the front. See the little holes there, sideways, top ways. Oh, what I did need to do, and I always forget this, is to take a couple of dividers out. One. This is what we're going to saw, whatever's in the box, into three pieces with. Okay? We take the dividers, push them in the box. Hopefully, I'm going to show you this from all angles as I can. A very old piece of magic. Come on, get in there. That's it. Perfect. Pushing it through the box. You can see the back. You can see the front, the sides, thus dividing the cards into three pieces. But it wouldn't be magic if I couldn't move the centerpiece across. So we're going to move. What would be the tummy of the lady or the gent, in this case the middle of the pack. No mirrors, no gizmos, just a pure piece of very old magic. But it wouldn't be magic if I couldn't restore the pack of cards. So we take the cards, push the tummy back, take the divider out, one, to replace them back in to the box and hopefully and this is fingers crossed we can tip all the cards back out of the box it's a kind of magic the zigzag illusion have fun take care stay safe just magic.